The court of the accusation of my dog. So the accusation on the dog is that he came running to attack your daughter. He bit her a few times before she could be pulled away. But the dog continues to jump up to get her, with no chance of pulling him back. So Mrs. Karen says that he is uncontrollable, aggressive, and a danger to all, especially to small children. Yes, that is true, and I have proof on this happening. She presents pictures of her daughter's bruises that aren't much bigger than a tiny coin. These pictures isn't from my dog biting her daughter. My dog is a 30 kilograms muscular boy. So if she was bitten so aggressively she wouldn't have escaped with five small bruises. My dog was on a leash at all times and not far from my side when the little girl jumps out in front of me. He is used to kids and will and has never harmed a child no matter what this child did to him. So he would have no reason to jump this girl for just stepping out on the bike lane. Both my dog and I managed to avoid her, and we did come back to make sure she was alright. And she was fine and without a scratch when I left. The court continues for about an hour and Karen gets upset with my so-called lies as she so nicely put it. Since we can't come to an agreement we will start a jury about the event and decision on this dog's future. We will need the doctor's statement on the child's injuries and an evaluation on the dog's temper. No, you can't seriously let the dog walk freely on the streets. Me and my daughter cannot feel safe in this town, knowing that dangerous dog can come around every corner. I demand to have him put down immediately for the safety of my children. My name you can go. Mrs. Karen will stay here till I say otherwise. I honestly hope she got an earful for yelling at the judge. My name you can go. Mrs. Karen will stay here till I say otherwise.